Greeting fellow salt and sassers and welcome to another video on solo RPGs. Today I don't want to talk to you about a specific game. Today I want to talk to you about what you need to game. So in my opinion, what you need to have before you set forth on a wonderful journey known as solo RPGs. First of all, let me be clear. If you're watching this video, you have a screen and you have an internet connection, meaning that you're able to download PDF of games directly onto your screen and that you are able to access an application that can either roll dice or draw cards for you randomly. As a result of which, you already have absolutely everything you need to solo RPG. However, let's face it, there's needs, there's want, there's probably a nice little place in between where we all like to tell ourselves we are, and therefore, let me talk to you about what I like to have for my solo RPG. And the first important thing to have is randomizers. By which I will start with dice. This is actually um, three sets of polyhedral dice. Uh, they are originally from the uh, Tales of Equestria role-playing game, which is one that I played with my daughter. As you can tell, they are color-coded. It's very lovely uh, when <laughs> I play with my children to say roll the green dice as opposed to saying roll the six-sided dice. Uh, so that's sort of how I acquired these lovely color-coded dice. Frankly, now that I play, I find it very helpful because I can associate the color with the number of uh, faces and it goes pretty smoothly. Also, it's very fun to see some of them are sparkly because they used to go with the unicorn pony and this one was for the Pegasus and this one was for the Earth pony. For those of you who might be into my little pony. Anyway, sets of dice. I find that three is definitely all that you're likely to need. It is not uncommon that a game will use only one set. It is also not uncommon that one game will need you to use, for example, two 10-sided dice. So two set is probably the minimum you want to have. At three, it's super handy because uh, three six-sided dice lets you handle a lot of dice pool games. Even if you have to like use one twice for the same roll, usually works out really well. So as you can tell, that did not stop me from getting more six-sided dice. But as discussed, you know, there's needs, there's want, and there's me. So three sets, definitely more than enough to meet your need. Then <clears throat> cards, playing cards. So all you need is one set. You can get like something that looks like this from the grocery store for like $1.99 or something like that. And that will be great. And plus, when you take it traveling with you, you're not worried that it starts looking like this. It's easy to get carried away, to get theme sets for some of your favorite game. Ah, <laughs> colossal. Uh, or, you know, the aviary deck that looks so lovely for anything that is nature related. Or the stargazer, which would be good for sci-fi if I played it, but I actually like to use it for magic users. Anyway, the point is, you don't need four. <laughs> some people have way more than that. Uh, you really only need one. And between the dice and the cards, that is roughly all that you will need for randomizer, except for that really weird game that will rely on tarot cards. Do not buy a deck of tarot cards if you do not have them. However, if you're like me and had a Wiccan phase sometime in your teenage years and did not get rid of your tarot cards because the art is just gorgeous, like I really like dragon, even though I'm like dragon, see, so cute. Anyway, uh, it's handy to have a set of tarot cards. Most games that rely on tarot cards uh, for prompts will actually uh, offer alternative using a regular set of cards. So again, unless you were looking for a real excuse to buy a deck of tarot cards, you don't actually need them. But hey, I had them and look how pretty this is. Uh, so I wanted to showcase them. So that's it for randomizers. That's pretty much how you're likely to need. Some other game may want you to like use a book from your collection. But let's face it, if you're here, you probably have one of those. Uh, last thing you might want to have is something to write on. The budget solution, the easiest one to do, is to go to Walmart, get yourself a nice spiral notebook, use some tabs here to separate the games. You don't even have to print the um, player aids or the player sheets, character sheets, because you can just sort of reproduce them on the first page of your notebook and then use the subsequent page to journal. This is Be Like a Crow, by the way, which is a great game. I should cover it at some point. Uh, but anyway, there we are. That is what you need to do to write. So you can reproduce a character sheet. You can journal in that. 
you can always go like super crazy and like use a tablet to write also like I have a remarkable I really like but again that's completely unnecessary what you need is something to write on something to write with something to use for randomizers and you're good to go so now you have no more excuses you know all that I know about what you need to have to play solo RPGs and you're welcome because I know you're gonna buy more than that and this is what I bring to YouTube. Have fun.